Okay, here we go here. Uh, what I have just installed is Rocket ROM version 11. Um, so I've gone into Clockwork Mod Recovery. I've flashed Abyss 4.2 kernel. I always flash that. It's just safe. People say you can flash ice cream sandwich kernels. Um, you probably can, but to be safe, I always go back to Abyss 4.2. So I flashed that. Then I um, cleared my debit cache and my other cache and flash Rocket ROM version 11. And so at the moment, it's just going through and installing EB's ROM and putting his um, custom apps that he puts on it. So, so basically, if you've subscribed to my channel, you'd notice that I either install Rocket ROM or Chris Callow's ROM. Um, EB's and Chris Callow's are really, really similar ROMs. Um, Chris Callow's offers you an installer, a Roma installer, so you can choose the, the options that you want. So it's it's more customizable, but EB's ROM is basically a ROM that he's made for himself, that he shares. Um, and it works well for me. All the applications that he installs with his, other than the um, country-specific ones that you saw previously, uh, everything works well. Like you spend features, all the backgrounds, everything's just really smooth. So I've changed back to Rocket ROM. Um, who knows, maybe next week I'll go back to Chris Gallo's ROM. Okay, so we're just going to wait for this um, installation to finish. And I'll show you some of the features of Rocket ROM version 11. So, okay, so that's the Galaxy S3 startup. You'll probably notice if you've installed other versions of Rocket ROM or Chris Gallo's ROM, it, it just basically has the a Google ice cream sandwich login, not quite the um, customized Samsung ice cream sandwich version. Um, right, so wait for it to install a few things before I kick into it. Okay, so I'll go into Apex Launcher, that's just my launcher of choice. Um, and as you can see, all my widgets are gone because all my cages have been taken out. Um, so I'm going to cut the video um, and save you some time. I'm going to put all my widgets back on and then I'll start the video. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, done. <clears throat> so there's all my widgets back on the screen. Uh, check out my video if you want to know what they are. Don't ask any questions. I get heaps of people asking those questions. I've got a video on, on saying what my what my setup is, so just check that out. Okay, I'm just going to go into apps and change the um, default setting for my box screen, uh, my, my launcher. So I'll clear the default. And I'll show you um, TouchWiz. Alright, so that's loaded up, it's nice and smooth. Actually, it's, well in my opinion, it's the the smoothest launcher. Um, Samsung's done pretty well with this TouchWiz. Let's see how it's real quick. Um, Aperture comes up. <coughs> Going between those is pretty fast. And even into the widgets. Oops. which normally takes a while to render these pictures. Comes up pretty quick. Okay, just pull down the, just the tray. Not bad. Okay, so phone comes up reasonably quickly. Messages, yeah, quick again. Use memo. 
S Nut usually takes a little bit longer than Memo, so we'll go on and try that and see how fast that comes up. Yeah, not too bad actually, it's alright. Uh, I think it's slightly faster than Rocket, uh, EB's Rocket Run version 10, slightly quicker. Okay, so this is based on the official um, XXLRQ firmware, and it's got the LRK modem. Um, it's already pre-routed. Uh, it's got the uh, Hydra kernel, uh, not overclocked, but I mean you can always put an overclock kernel back on there. Um, it's got the the dark thing, which um, I think if you've used, installed Rocket Run before, you know what that's about. Um, the S three uh, S three S voice. Um, has been uh, improved, so there's no lag on it. It's got roll tube uh, for downloading YouTube videos. Transparent weather widget, which comes with the S3. Uh, it got the, it's got the S3 live wallpapers. It's got swipe, which is the best um, keyboard, um, from, from my opinion. Um, it's got Beats Audio, Sony Walkman Player, um, the Bravia engine, I'm not sure what that's for actually. Uh, and the PlayStation certificate, uh, once again, no idea what that does. And of course, it's uh, being being reworked by AB for you know system tweaks, UI tweaks. Uh, those are the this, this apps that come with it. So I'll just go through and uninstall those later on. So EB's Rocket Run version 11, uh, slightly smoother perhaps than, than the previous version. Um, there's obviously a few tweaks that I really love. There's the, the new gallery that comes from the Galaxy S3, um, way better than the previous gallery that comes from the Note. Uh, that gallery is just complete rubbish. Um, I do a, a more thorough review of that little gallery on my video that I've uploaded after this, which shows you some gallery, uh, some note 2 features so check that out if you've got a note you can um, add a few backgrounds and and sounds of the note 2 and put them on your note okay so download this ROM give it a flash see what you think um, leave a comment if you like it um, cool this is Kiwi Guy signing off